Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this extension review tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Image Clean. That's right. So if you've been using your Magento store for any period of time, adding, removing, deleting, updating products over a period of time, then you're going to have a collection of product images, which you're probably not using anymore. And this extension will allow you to delete them. Now, Dave, the best thing for us to do is probably show you what this extension does for real. So let's jump straight across the desktop and we'll show you what it does. If you fancy installing it on your system, of course, later on in this tutorial, we'll show you how to get the extension and it is a free one. And we'll show you how to install it and get it up and running. So with that said, Dave, let's get to the desktop. So Dave, we've come across to our desktop. Let's show everybody what this extension does. It's extremely helpful. And by installing this extension, if you go to the system menu and then into ImmoClean for image clean, Dave, can you see these product images here? Yes, sir. These are product images which are no longer attached to products within our catalog. So all the products which we've got in catalog managed products, these images are no longer attached to those products. And that can happen for a number of different reasons. Maybe you've deleted the products or you maybe removed the products over a period of time and these images have been left behind. Dave, in our system, we've only been found 160 records, but we've only really been using our Magento store for making video tutorials like this one. However, if you've been adding tens or even thousands of products into your Magento system over a period of time, you're more than likely to have way more than 160 images which are no longer being used by your Magento install. And of course, with this extension, it's very simple. You can just choose select all on the left and just quick note, I've only got 20 per page set over here on the left. And then from the actions menu, choose delete and then submit and then those images will be removed oh in fact Dave he actually selected them all they've all been deleted from our system and of course Dave that means that we can stay in shared or web hosting or smaller server for much much longer because we've just been in save a shed load of disk space does that make sense yeah, totally, Matt. The way I see it, it's like housekeeping for your Magento account, making sure all the old stuff that you no longer need is taken out. Yeah, that's right. And let me just stress that these files are no longer in the database, so Magento does not know that they are attached to other products. And of course, it just saves you on disk space nice and easy. So if that sounds like an extension which you'd like to install on your Magento site, it is free. And carry on watching this video tutorial and we'll show you how you'll get up and running within just a couple of minutes. So let's go and do it, Dave. Let's do it. Now, before we get started and install this extension onto our Magento system, and of course, if you're following this tutorial along and installing it on your system, there are five basic steps that you must take before installing any extension on your Magento system. Now, these are split into two sections. So firstly, before you do anything else, we want you to make a complete system backup of your Magento site. And once you've done that, turn off compilation. That's right. Now, during this tutorial, we'll actually go through these. We make a backup before installing each and every extension on our Magento site. And also you'll see us go in and just double check that compilation is turned off on our site. Now we are gonna assume that you've made those two steps. And Dave, there's three additional steps as well, aren't there? There are. Now, if you've installed Magento extensions before, these should be no stranger to you. But just for clarity, we're gonna run through them. Thirdly, you're going to add the extension and wait for that install to complete fully. So that's that green message, cache cleared successfully. Exactly. Then we're going to return to the admin area and clear out all of the caches. And crucially, it's the biggest mistake I've made this myself so many times, Dave. Remember to log out and log back in again. And that's especially important adding larger extensions because when you go into the, like, the configuration area, you'll end up with this big 404 error on your page. So with that said, let's go and get this extension installed. And you might have heard us say this one slide over and over again if you've been watching lots of the tutorials which we've made as part of this course, but it is super important. Do make a backup of your Magento system. Do just double check the compilations disabled. Do wait for the extension to complete its install. Do clear out your caches and do remember just to log out and log back in again. And those five steps are the steps which you have to make with any extension for your Magento store. 
So Dave, that was the boring ad bit out of the way. Let's go and get this extension installed. Let's do it. Right, Dave, up on our screen right now, we've got a link, haven't we? And this is just to make it a little bit easier for you so you can get the right extension, don't we? That's right, yes. Yeah. So the link, if you're interested in Image Clean, is understandinge.com forward slash get hyphen IC. So if you type that into your web browser, you're going to come across to the Magento Connect website. And this is where we can download this free extension from the Magento Connect library. Now, it is just worth pointing out that you do need to be logged in. If you're not logged into Magento Connect, go up to my account in the top right hand corner and click on that and sign in. And then, of course, come back to this page. Dave, we're already signed in. So we're going to click on install now. We're going to choose Magento Connect 2.0, which 99.9% .9 of you would need. We are going to agree to the terms and conditions. There's our key. I'm going to click on select key, right click and choose copy. So I've got that copied. So we now need to go and get that installed into our Magento website. Now, we did put a note just a few seconds ago that about just checking that you've got your Magento store ready for adding an extension and you've been and made a backup as well. We are assuming that you've done that. Of course, we've been and done that for our system as well. We need to go to system, down to Magento Connect, and then to Magento Connect Manager. You will be asked to sign in. Now, if you do have any red warning messages at the top, just contact your web hosting provider. It's more than likely a file permissions issue and they'll be able to resolve that for you. So where it says paste extension key to install, let's paste that in there and click on install. Wait for that to finish. Madge Ima clean. That's kind of about right, isn't it, Dave? Let's click on proceed. Now, Dave, as always, we are waiting for the message cache clean successfully. Yay. There it is at the bottom. Now, as always, when you add extensions to your Magento store, remember that you need to return to your admin area. We need to clean out our caches. And crucially, Dave, we've got to remember to log out and log back in again. So we are now going to go to system, down to cache management. And then for ease, we're going to click select all on the left and then click submit on the right. And that refreshes them. We are also going to flush the Magento cache and we're also going to go and clean out the cache storage as well. Now, of course, that takes a few seconds to go through. So let's clear that one out as well. The other one, Dave, once this one's finished, we must remember to log out. Otherwise, if we go to any like system settings pages, for example, is that we'll just get a 404 error, which is not good not very helpful it's not what you want it does slow you down a little bit <laughs> just a tad this time around dave we've got an extra menu item underneath the system column and if we go down to emma clean or image clean excellent so this is where we can go and hit search on the right hand side and this extension will then go and find any product images or any images which are not in the database and of course they're not mapped against the products which potentially is safe for you to delete. Of course that's going to be really beneficial for us Dave if we're in shared web hosting for example. Yeah absolutely yeah. Where we have a limit on disk space which we can use so just by tidying up our store we can get extra disk space which means we can stay in shared hosting for longer and of course ultimately a faster Magento site because there's less files on the server etc etc. Win-win. Yeah, win-win. But let me just stress the big benefit is less disk space being used by your Magento install, which generally means that you can stay in cheaper web hosting or a smaller server for much longer. So let's go and click search on the right hand side and see what we can find. So Dave, on the right hand side, after pressing the search button, that didn't find anything. I clicked on the refresh button just up there on the right hand side. And Dave, we have a collection of product images. They are quite a diverse collection of images. <laughs> they are quite a diverse one. But on a serious point, I know that these two images are definitely not attached to a product because Dave, a few moments ago, I manually uploaded these to see if this extension would find them. And it did. And the crucial point here is the, these files are not in the database, so they're not mapped across to products which we've been and got in our system. And of course that happens or can happen for a collection of different reasons. Maybe it's an old product which you did have in your Magento database and then you went on and deleted maybe by other means. So via Magme, for example, or you've just been and deleted and the image files weren't deleted from your server. 
Now, Dave, in our case, we've actually been and got 162 records, so 162 images, which are in our Magento system, which we no longer want. So what we can do, I'm just going to pick these two up as an example. We could just pick two up or one up or maybe all of them. And then from the actions menu, choose delete and then submit and then just confirm on that action. And those two images have now been removed from our Magento system. Now, Dave, we only picked up two images, but as you can see, we've got 162 images. Now, if some of these images are much bigger, maybe up to a megabyte each, that's been and saved us 160 megabytes from our install. Now, of course, those of you with much bigger catalogs, that number is most likely gonna be much, much higher than that. It could be 1,600. This is why we're suggesting this extension to you. It will help you maintain your Magento website over the long period of time. Does that make sense, Dave? Yeah, it makes sense to me. Nice and straightforward, it's just come in here, actually press the refresh button, not the search button, and then you get all the product images which are no longer attached to actual products, which you are safe to delete. Nice and easy? Yeah, that was super easy. And like you said, like we said back at the beginning, really useful if you're on shared web hosting, can buy you some added time and keep you in there longer, saving you some money. Yeah, you and your business, absolutely. So for myself, Dave, and of course, Matt too, we sincerely hope that you found this tutorial useful on Image Clean, and hopefully you will find it useful for your business too. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios.